So what's to be done to make sure that we, quote unquote, have the right leadership? This takes, in my opinion, individuals making good decisions. Uh -huh. Take responsibility. Don't pass it off. Don't assume somebody else is going to take care of it. We have to actively learn, educate ourselves, educate our children, provide the appropriate values and standards, and we move forward. It's not going to be a straight line. It's going to be up and down. Societies they have the leadership they deserve. Oh. And so if, uh, if you have societies that are dysfunctional, that have lost okay, any... That's a very unkind comment, Donald. The U.S. didn't deserve Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm afraid it, it, may, it may have deserved it. I think if you, There's a lot of truth in If that. you have societies that are fragmented, polarized, that have lost the sense of the collective, as uh, Bill was saying, then you have politicians who turn to politics not because they have a sense of common good, but just out of uh, sheer ambition and lust uh, for power. So don't be surprised if you have a lot of mediocrity in a lot of countries. It's a reflection of the decline of societies. Uh, I think the circulation of elites is necessary. You know, N Napoleon's decisions in his first ten, ten years in power were almost all genius. And, and in his second decade in power, almost all bad. The British, the British have a saying that after eight years in power, every prime minister goes mad. <laughs> Um, and, and so you need circulation. But there is a... There's a we we <laughs> <months Sure>. <laughs> but, but there is a problem we have now, which is that you need different skills to win an election and different skills to be a responsible leader. Mm -hmm. And many good, many good people don't want to do politics anymore because it's just, just become too nasty. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should start experimenting with something that was the norm in ancient Athens, which was electing citizens to certain positions by lot. By, by, and they turned out to be all right. We could start experimenting at the level where the United States uh, democracy is still vibrant, at the state level, at the, at the municipal level. We, we should start experimenting with different forms of democracy. But that brings in accountability. Yeah. Um, can I go back to something uh, uh, Mary Beth uh, said about um, we've been talking about the decline of the, the, the West for a long time. A book was published with that title, The Decline of the West, in 1921, over 100 years ago. And I think one of the themes of that book is, is, is relevant and should be borne in mind here. We've, we've talked a lot about values, the value of this uh, 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 society and so on. Otto Weininger, who publishes this book, The Decline of the West, what he was concerned with was, that he, he said, that the, the West Spengler, is... Spengler. Spengler, sorry, yeah. Spengler. Spengler uh, published his book. He said that the, the, the reason the West has declined is because its culture has decayed. And the sign of a decaying culture, according to Spengler, is that the leading figures of the culture are no longer the musicians, the composers, the writers, the artists. They become the, 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 the mathematicians, the scientists, even the bankers, as it were. Um, and so Spengler's argument is that, you know, what, and I think it's a, it's, it's a good point to make in, a, in, a, in, a, in an opera house, is that so long as we give due respect to the creative people in our culture, our culture will remain healthy. Yes. Agreed. Yeah.